Kung Fu and the Chinese are triple. <laughs> but the one about the socializing. Oh, 
I said, I gotta do another HBO special. Maybe I should do it back in Jersey at like Princeton University. I don't know. I thought, well, maybe when I come out to LA, I'll go across down to USC. I thought, maybe. They said, Piscopo, you're gonna do a special in Los Angeles. There's only one place to do it Royce Hall at UCLA. are great. Thank you for coming down. Thank you one and all for coming down. I was just here a couple weeks ago at Spring Sing 90. Yeah. That's, that's like, for the folks at home, it's like a talent show, a very lavish production talent show here at UCLA with all the sororities and fraternities. And yeah, man, the students and everything, and they were great. And well, we got a little surprise for the folks at home a little later on. I think the crowd's hip to that. We got a little something for you. Some local talent, if you will. And I'd like to thank Tom Wang and the UCLA Brew in the newspaper here. Those guys are great. Thank you for that. Nice article. It's a nice article. So if you read the article, you know I've been working out, you know. But tonight, after the show, it's party time, pig out time. Party! Party time! I'm t I work out, man. I work out for my head. You understand? It makes me feel good. It's for sanity, not vanity. You know what I mean? But man, tonight at the hotels, hey, Joe Piscopo, you're working out, right? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Watch this. Ah! Working it out. Forget it. But coming into a show like this to work for you guys, because we got a great show for you tonight, I diet, you know? I go into these diets, but I don't do these fad diets. These fad You see, 3 o'clock in the morning on TV, this Richard Simmons diet. Have you seen anything? Try my new deal -a meal It really, really works. <laughs> what is that? What is that? You know, let's dance to the oldies. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Ooh, that burns. <laughs> it's good for some people, I guess. And I recently had the ultimate honor bestowed upon me, you know, for somebody who tries to, tries to stay in shape. Anyway, they put us on the cover of Muscle and Fitness magazine, you know. Great magazine. Great magazine. I gotta tell you, Joe Weider and all the stuff at Muscle and Fitness, man, they just, it's a great organization. But I got, it's the worst picture I've ever seen of myself in my life. Granted, I ain't no Redford by a long shot, but this is like the worst. I was so embarrassed. Newsstands everywhere. Dave Grossman, our director, can we pop up that cover of Muscle? I look like such a dork. Look at this guy. Oh, hi. What's wrong with my neck? Look at my neck. Oh. I look like a TV evangelist on the make, don't I? Hear? I look like... I look like... I look... I look like Jimmy Swagger trying to pick up a chick, you know what I mean? Come here, young thing. Say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the body. Praise my body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. One more rip for the Lord, child. Mm, you young thing. Get rid of that. Get rid of that thing, man. That's unbelievable. I was so embarrassed, you know? But you can tell from that picture. I know a lot of guys, I see a lot of guys on campus, super buff, man. You guys are like big. And you know I'm not doing drugs, right? But if I hear one more time, Joe Piscopo on steroids? You doing steroids? Just to assure my critics, I am not doing steroids. We are going to take a steroid test here at Royce Hall tonight. On the level. Uh, not on the stage, actually, literally. But we're going to have a doctor come in. This is on the level. And we're going to run an anabolic steroid test. So you, everybody knows that I'm clean and everything like that. Now I'd like you to make a few. Well, this is totally on the level. We're gonna do this. We brought a very prominent Los Angeles general practitioner here. Please make him feel welcome, Dr. Irv Pulzowski. For real, Dr. Dr. Irv Pulzowski. <laughs> Dr. Irv is here tonight. Now, he's, he, <laughs> they love you, Irv. They love you. This is, you know, Dr. Bozowski is great, and I know it now, I, I, now I, just to make sure this is on the level, and this is a true thing that we're doing, you, you know, I didn't bribe you or anything like that, right? No, not at all. No, and no sexual favors, anything like that, right? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. <laughs> what do I have to do? Exactly, I've never done one of these before. What do I have to do? Follow me. 
It's very simple. You do it every day. Okay. Well, Ira, you want to tinkle, tinkle? I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. We're going to really do this. Hold on. Now, I don't know what, it's just very easy. I just could go right in here and do it just like... Just, just as you do every Okay. And where are we going? Right? Oh, I see. Oh, gosh. My oh, gosh. I'm going to have to, uh, this is for me, yes? Yeah. I know it's cable, but I, I, I'm sorry. I'm a little shy. Dr. Brzezowski, could you turn the faucet on, please? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We all set now. Dr. Brzezowski, you're going to go run that test. We have uh, the Brinks guards are here. Dr. Brzezowski, this is going to do this very, very efficiently. And we're going to do this very, very uh, correctly. It's the way they're supposed to do it now, yeah? That was no problem at all. Thank you very much. You see, we have a Brinks truck out here now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Dr. Herb, there he is. He's getting into the Brinks truck now. A guard there. So no messing around. So we're going to put a rest to these nasty rumors, ladies and gentlemen. You know? I tell you, thank you, Herb. There he goes off to do the test. And we're going to keep, a, keep an eye on Herb. At the end of the show, Dr. Pazowski will be back with the drug test results. There we go. I don't know how anybody could do steroids. I tell you, everybody's doing growth hormone now. Growth hormone's a big thing, and apparently growth hormone not only makes your muscles grow, it makes the bones in your face grow, you know what I mean? And that's always been a lifelong ambition of mine, to look like Lurch on the Adams Family. You know? <laughs> and you can't do anabolic steroids, man! You abuse anabolic steroids, you know what happens? You atrophy your reproductive system. You understand what I'm saying? It shrinks like your thing there, you know what I mean? It's like, uh... It really does. It's like, even you now, I don't know about you, but that's enough for me to just say no. That's the answer. No, thanks. And these guys are in the gym. Joe, try these anabolic steroids, man. Come on, you'll be huge. Your peepee will go away, but you'll be a monster. Think about it. Who needs a peepee when you have an arm like this, buddy? Huh? Like a new steroid movie from Disney. Honey, I shrunk my peepee, you know? It's like, oh. Unbelievable, you know. I'm just jealous because I'll never be as big as those guys, man. I see the big boys in the gym. I say, gee, I'd like to be there. I'm a fan. I'm going to the Mr. Olympia in Chicago in September. See those guys pose? I love when those guys go into those pose downs. They look like they're trying to imitate King Kong. The 1933 version of King Kong. You ever see? Every bodybuilder in a pose. It looks like King Kong. It's like... the way to imitate King Kong. This is the way to imitate King Kong. Give it to me, boys. Come.
from a planet dripping with sweat. But if you get into trouble, he's a fairly good bet. He's the Buff Man, Yapiscopo, a pumped up hero who's just a little bit slow. And now, our exciting adventure begins on the planet Sweat as Buff Piscopo, outer space strong guy, works on his posing. Unbeknownst to Buff, Kimberly Pex, his intergalactic babe, strikes her own pose. A fevered reaction ensues. Aw, oh, shucks, guys. Suddenly, a shadow sneaks down out of the sky and crosses Kimberly's lovely face. It's Squat Face. The interstellar stinko bad guy nasty poopo. Buff, help! Buff! Angered by the kidnapping of his favorite feminine companion, Buff, who doesn't have many chicks, responds fairly quickly. Buff! Hey, bring her back here or I'll... I'll... bench press your butt! Sensing that his threat is not working, Buff reaches just off camera, how convenient, mm. and grabs his rusty yet trusty spaceboard and takes off in pursuit. Meanwhile, Squatface makes a move on the lovely Kimberly. Kiss this, Squathead. Meanwhile, our lummox, <coughs> our hero, is in hot pursuit. Squatface launches a massive load of nuclear sugar cubes. Kids, please remember, sugar is bad for you at any speed. Squat face zooms on past the planet Weeder. Buff, have a magazine. The chase continues as Squat Face ducks into a little smog and shrouded planet called Earth. Gee, that smarts. Oh my, will Buff make it? No problem. Just a glitch. A little bit
about the band and the girls, folks? Are they smoking or what tonight? How about the girls tonight, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, we've been working all week long, you know? We did Johnny Carson, we did everything, and these girls, with Kimberly's permission, of course, you know, they are happening, you know what I'm saying? We had fun. Stephanie, Tracy, Tamara, and Terrence. Stephanie, Tracy, Tamara, and Terrence. Thank you, girls. And this, get that thing off here, is Ira Siegel, my music director from New York City. That was great, man. I like this. Seth Glassman on bass. Barry Lazarowitz on drums. Charlie Deshaun on saxophone, if you will. And the legendary Erwin Fish at the keyboard. There you go. And all of this equipment, every piece of this equipment is made in America, okay? We went out. I, went, I got HME microphones, Remo drums, and that's a bit, we even flew in on American Airlines, all right? It's like we're, in, we're all made in America except for Charlie Deshaun. No one really knows where Charlie's from, you know? So, thanks, guys. That was fun. We got more. We got more, right? <laughs> Hey, what is, can we check on uh, Dave Grossman? Can we check on uh, Irv Pulzowski, our uh, doctor? Oh, there's Irv at the steroid testing center, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Irv. How are you? Oh, my gosh. I really enjoy your work, Mr. Piscopo. <laughs> ah, thank you. I, I'm, I'm jealous. What the hell's going on here? Thank you. Thank you very much. A typical Joe Piscopo fan, ladies and gentlemen, right there. You know what? We're going to make a change. We've got a lot more show for you tonight. I'm going to go back and change it to something else. I'm going to turn the TV on. Maybe you could just flick through the channels, kind of make yourself comfortable. Kind of, uh, who's got the remote control tonight? Anybody? You got the remote? Just turn the TV on. Watch what you want. Flick through the channels. Folks, I'll be right back. Got a lot more show. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, turn the TV on for these folks. We'll be right back. Larry King here, live on CNN with our special guest tonight, ABC's Sam Donaldson. Uh, Sam. What is the news? Larry, I'm the news. Late breaking, ongoing, anything that happens has to go through me. I am news, hear me soar. I must you ever happen to notice a couple of months ago I allegedly made some ugly remarks about blacks and gays. And my ratings suddenly skyrocketed. Well, I knew that would happen. I can't wait to nail the homeless. Hey, hello again, everybody. Joe Piscopo, HBO Sports. The big story, UCLA. Basketball. Class team, no violations. Losers. UNLV, payoffs, recruitment scandals. Winners. Come on, Bruins, shape points. Buy cars. Win. NCAA, FBI. And now it's time for America's Most Wanted Home Videos. Come on, jump! Daddy, I'm scared. Hey, we're talking ten big ones here. Ten thousand bucks, they'll love it. Come on, jump! I'm the news. I'm the show. I'm the voice of America, Larry. Sam, the ratings for prime time with you and Diane Sawyer are really off. It's her fault. Yapping all the time. She's got a big mouth, Larry. I can't even get a word in it. <laughs> Hi there, lonely. Just break up with the love of your life? Looking for someone who can take care of you in a big, big way? Well, why not give me a call? Just dial 976-IVANA and you'll be set for the rest of your life. What is it with these homeless people anyway? Oh my gosh, how often does that happen to you? DD8 will class... Look at this. Or notice the homeless people always have the good shopping carts. Not like you and me in the grocery store with that stupid cart with the wiggly wheel. I'm the greatest. <laughs> ABC is nothing without that much. On, how can you live without this stuff? It's, you want ratings? Daddy! Go ahead, rub it in good. Come on, get inside. Daddy. Come on, ten big ones. This will kill, I promise. Let Diane and I do what they do on all those other shows. 30-something, L.A. law, all that sex and innuendo. DD8 <laughs> will clean the whole thing. Now watch this. Unbelie Is that... Um, it looks like caviar. <laughs> Cleaning this car to no end! And once again, America's most wanted home videos. Daddy, I don't want to go in there! Sure you do. Go on, they'll love it. Just go in and yell, this is a stick-up! Ten grand, come on! 
Uh, and you know what? Maybe the homeless should have their own network. The Homeless Shopping Channel, where you can actually buy a homeless person. <laughs> That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. From New York City, the only city in America with more people than cockroaches, it's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, Stupid Pet Tricks. And now, the only celebrity to walk around without an entourage, Dave. extravaganza you won't uh, want to miss. <laughs> Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, how are you? What can I say, except that the man is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Petrix is not a contest, not a competition, so please, no wagering. Uh, is uh, Mildred Henry back there? Mildred, come on out here. Uh, Mildred Henry. Well, Mildred, uh, that's an unusual looking animal there. Uh, what the hell we got here? What is that thing? Uh, this is Rito, my pet adolescent new temp. Ah, and, uh... <laughs> and, uh, what is Guido gonna do for us tonight, uh, Mildred Singh or something like that? Oh, no, David, I'm going to skeet-shoot him. Skeet-shoot him. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mildred, Mildred, does this require any setup at all? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, uh, okay, uh... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Turtle tossing sounds like fun. Uh, can we have a drum roll there, uh, Danton? did we Mildred? No, oh my gosh it looks that's really disgusting how can we see that in slow motion uh, <laughs> oh my god oh my god that's great good night everybody thank you very much <laughs> at Spring Sing a couple weeks ago, right? <laughs> they asked me to judge, again, like I said in the beginning of the show, a talent contest for all you wonderful the sororities and the fraternities and all the students here at UCLA. Well, there's one guy that, like, knocks the socks off the crowd. Knocks, 
blows, blows the whole place out, right? But he doesn't win a thing. He didn't win. He got totally overlooked. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to go to the core of UCLA talent and put him on national television tonight? So, please welcome, from Spring Sing 90, singing Kitty from Kansas City, the world's youngest old-timer, Gabe Green! Hi-ho, everybody! Professor, if you please. Uh. Her name was Kitty from Kansas City. Sure was a pity. She wasn't pretty. Hey, she's not so hard to see. She weighs 243. I hope she doesn't get much better. But if she does, that doesn't matter. Kitty from Kansas City. Now there's a girl that I adore. She's so dumb. She doesn't know a thing. Why she thinks that you lie the fourth was an English king. I love her. I love her. That's easy to see. It's Kansas City Kitty for me. Kitty, 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 kitty from Kansas City. Sure was a pity. She wasn't pretty. Hey, I love her just because she's not the girl she was. Oh, she can cook and she can walk. But when she talks, you love her gosh. It's Kitty from Kansas City. Now there's a girl that I adore. She's so dumb, sometimes it nearly kills. Why, she thought Rudy Valley was a place between two hills. I love her. I love her. That's easy to see. It's Kansas City Kitty for me. Why, she's so dumb. I don't know what to say. She ordered extra benzene with her Perrier. I love her. I love her. That's easy to see. It's Kansas City Kitty for me. It's Kansas City Kitty for me. For Rodeo Dome. Johnny Harlan, thank you. Welcome to our studio audience, welcome to our home audience, and welcome to our college contestants, and a very special welcome to Susan. <laughs> Who might very well be our next Jeopardy champion. <laughs> That's French for champion. Let's go to work. The categories are college athletics, USC, UCLA Spring Break and Beer <laughs> which in German is pronounced Beer Susan, you go first. Uh, hey, Alex, aren't we going in order? <laughs> no. Susan, you go first. Go. Um, I'll pay college athletics for $100. College athletics for $100. He was recently ousted as a North Carolina State basketball coach for recruiting violations. Uh, Susan? <laughs> Who is Jim Valvoline? Close enough, Susan, close enough. Valvoline Valvano, what does it really matter? Uh, 
You get to pick again, Susan. Um, I'll take USC for a hundred, Alex. USC for a hundred dollars. The mascot of a major university, he is rumored to ride side saddle. Susan. Um, I know Tommy Trojan, the USC mascot. Tommy Trojan, the USC mascot. Right. Way to go, Susan. Alex. She did not phrase that in the form of a question. Ooh, I'm sorry. Either did you, Chip. I'm going to have to penalize you $200 for that. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Chip. Sorry. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Susan, you get to pick again. Uh, let's see. Um... UCLA for 100. UCLA. Who got the shaft at Spring Sing 90? Hey, Alex, you mean the big loser? Everybody knows that. It's Gabe Green. Oh, I'm sorry, Chip. I'm sorry. Remember, you must phrase the answer in the form of a question. Remember. Ooh. Susan, who got the shaft at Spring Sing 90? Who is Tommy Trojan? Sure, why not? Sure. Absolutely. Susan, you're doing splendid. You're doing splendid. You have to go again. Okay, um, I'll pick spring break for $100, Alex. Spring break for $100. The annual college spring break coincides with this religious holiday. Susan, Susan? What? Uh, the annual college spring break. Oh, come on! Spring? Correct. You now have eight hundred dollars. Very good. Very good. No way, Alex. No way. The correct answer is Easter. Ooh, I'm sorry, Chip. Sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. That may be technically correct, but you see, Palm Sunday does fall within the Easter season, so I'm going to have to penalize you for being a schmuck. Okay. <laughs> That's Jewish for schmuck. <laughs> what's, what's that? I, I beg your pardon. It seems that judges have deemed uh, a student's answer incorrect. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to have to let Chip pick the next category. Go ahead, Chip. All right, I'm going to take... Um... Sorry, Chip, time's up. Ooh. Let's get to know our contestants a little better, uh, starting with Susan. Supposed to start with me, please. Uh, excuse me, is your name Alex Trebek? No, it's Chip Farfignugan. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong, Chip. Ooh, the correct pronunciation of your name is Farfignugan. Farfignugan. You forgot the umlaut. Farfignugan. I'm gonna have to penalize you up to uh, six hundred dollars. Yes, there we go. Sorry, sorry. In any case, uh, who is Chip Farfignugan? Well, as you know, Alex, I'm a child prodigy. Graduated high school when I was 11 years old, the youngest in history to accomplish that feat. I scored 2,000 on my SATs. I'm currently writing a thesis in micromolecular structure as compared with ancient druid philosophy. Basically, I'm a genius. <laughs> I don't like you, Chip. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones. <laughs> Shut up, Chip. Hey, anyway. forget this, okay? I don't need this. I'm out of here. I'm a genius. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chip. I'm going to have to penalize you 200 more dollars. Sorry, sorry. No one walks out on Alex Trebek. <laughs> Susan! Yes, Susan. Tell us about yourself. Well, Alex, I'm a cheerleader. Well, that's great! Isn't that great? That's great. Gabe Green, how about you? Well, Alex, I never won anything. Ooh, well, look, Gabe, don't fret, because let's take a look at our final Jeopardy category, and that is... Kitty from Kansas City. <laughs> and the answer is... What Kitty has in her Perrier. Good luck, contestants. Contestants, let's see what we've got. Susan, what does Kitty from Kansas City have in her Perrier? Lemon. Can we give that to our judges? Can we give that? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Susan. I'm going to have to give you the consolation prize, which is the Alex Trebek home game. <laughs> Sorry. Gabe Green, you said you never won anything. You got the shaft of Spring Sing 90. If you have benzene on that card, you will be the new Jeopardy champion. What is benzene? Gabe Green is a champion. Congratulations, Gabe. Congratulations. Thank you, Alex. Gabe. Gabe, you've been such a good sport for your stellar performance here today. We got you a trophy after all. It says to Gabe Green, the guy who won the hearts of UCLA. There you go, Gabe. Good night, everybody. Now, for a quick recap of our last episode of Buff Piscopo. Oh, he comes from the <laughs> No way. Buff is pulverized by the shuttle, but only slightly startled, he continues his rapid descent towards the main streets of the city they call New York, New York. Keep calm. Just before crashing, Buff uses his amazing physical prowess and his Greg Luganus correspondence course to full advantage and land safely. Only to be run over by a 75-ton semi driven by the nasty squat base. However, instead of being reduced to a well-muscled set of tread marks, Buff escapes injury with the aid of Joey, a rather tough street kid with a good heart, no parents, and a yen to travel. So, you doing steroids or what? No kids, Buff Piscopo does not need drugs to compete in this universe, and neither do you. Besides, they make your pee-pee go away. What a dream. Suddenly, Squatface comes running down the street. He holds a reducto ray gun to Kimberly's head. Uh-oh, what drama? What do we do? What's going to happen next? I have no idea. I have no script. Run, Buff. He's got a ray gun. Suddenly, Using cartoon license, Joey reaches mm -hmm. off screen and pulls Buff's space board into frame. Hey, yo, cool board. Seconds later, the high-powered boat speeds towards Squatface, causing him to inadvertently shoot himself with a ray gun. Squatface gets his skinny little butt out of there. Later that day, Buff, Kimberly, and the newfound Joey surf on back towards the planet sweat. Remember, Joey, never do anything wrong. What a dream. The end. Little buff action for you. I have to tell you, uh, honestly, uh, how nice it is to be back here at UCLA because you guys always make me feel so welcome, make us all feel welcome. And I'm not, I appreciate it, you know. It's, I'm not just saying that the home viewers go, oh, he's stroking the crowd, you know. I mean, we know, I was here a couple years ago, and you know, since I last saw you guys, it's been, uh, I went through pretty much hell in a custody battle with my son. I got to tell you this. Pretty well. Watching my little boy go through this stuff he didn't want to go through it. The injustice of courts, you know, the injustice of these scuzzy lawyers, you know. And watching that pain, it was tough. And I get a lot of people coming up to me and asking me, how'd you get through it? Because it is a, just a terrible thing to watch no one listen to children, you know. And we use Bruce Springsteen, Jersey pal, for inspiration. He's got a song called No Surrender, where no matter what you're in, no matter what evil forces are like pushing you down, man, Bruce says you can't give up. Never say die, you know? He says it. What does he say? He goes, uh, And now young faces grow sad and old, and hearts of fire grow cold. We swore blood brothers against the wind. I'm ready to grow young again. No retreat, baby, no surrender. See, to me, Bruce, Bruce is like the all-time king of rock and roll to me, I gotta tell you. He's, he is, he's the greatest, man, because when I listen to a guy sing, I don't ask for much, just that he sounds like a guy when he sings, you know? And Springsteen sounds like a man when he sings. Viva! in his 
his voice. We know where he was born, the USA, you know? It's not like some of these guys I watch on MTV. I got to tell you, some of these guys I don't understand. They don't sound like guys. They sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. You know, it's like... It's like a... He drives me Pal, you're driving me crazy, okay? I don't sound like a man. James Brown sounds like a man when he sings. James is the ultimate man. He doesn't even bother with lyrics. James just uses these manly vomit sounds, you know? It's like... Jackson's great, but compared to James, Michael sounds like this little girl, you know? It's like, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is this guy always grabbing himself? Why does Michael Jackson insist on touching himself? I don't understand it. It's like he can't find what's down there, you know? <laughs> Michael, you're into steroids or something like that? <laughs> no, surgery. <laughs> Chairman of the board, the main man. Frank Sinatra, the man, sounds like... sensitive moment like I'm giving my big boy a big hug you know and he's got to be back the next day and we don't know when we're gonna see each other again even then you know I like my music to have some heart you know like Bruce says you know well it's good to see your smiling face and to hear your voice again we made a promise we swore we'd always remember no retreat, no surrender. Thank you. That's for you, Joey. I love you, buddy. You made it. You made it. I love you. I'm so proud of you. That's for my boy. I think rap 
before you, but it's time to wrap up our ass. So chill out, people, listen up, it's time to get down. Check out me and the boys, it's on beat box down. He's a senior here at UCLA, majoring in biochemistry. Oh, but the guy is a child prodigy, he's a genius. And we are all so proud of you, Gabe, and we want to thank you for taking the time of being on the HBO special here. So much, Joe. Thank you, everybody. And I've had a great time. <laughs> you gotta love the guy. Gabe Green. Thank you, Gabe. Just the best. Now, is Dr. Pazowski here? Where's my man? Here we come. Dr. Herb is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Doc. Come right down here. Thank you, boys, for watching. Oh, everything's legit now, you saw, right? Everything's cool? Okay, Ira, let's check out the Joe Piscopo anabolic steroid test. The results are, drum roll, Barry, please. Doctor? He's clean. Oh, good. We know. Thank you. No drugs at all. No drugs at all. Thank you, Dr. Doc. What do you got?
been a Joker Co-Production.